Hello! <laughs> Hello, and welcome back to Birdies. I'm Dee, and I really love birds, and we're gonna talk about birds. In case you forgot, here's the rubric that we go over every single episode. But without further ado, what bird are we talking about today? Mallards! Wah, wah. So let's jump right on in. Mallards are in the family Anatidae. They have a lifespan of five to 10 years in the wild, but have been observed living 15 years or more in captivity. And they are also found in Asia, Europe, and North America. Getting into category number one, bird smarts. So when babies are born, they are classified into two different categories. One category is called precocial young and the other is called altricial young. So altricial young, when they're born, are unable to take care of themselves and need their mom and dad to feed them, teach them how to hunt, how to walk. It can take several weeks, months, even years in the case of humans to be completely self-sufficient. Now, mallards hatch precocial young, which means that they are able to survive on their own pretty much as soon as they are born. And that's sick. My other fact for this category is not really anything that the ducks do, it's just their names are kind of cool. Males are called drakes and females are called hens. So for this category, I'm going to rate mallards a 5 out of 10. Moving on! We are now into bird calls. So when you were growing up and you learned what sound a duck makes, you probably learned that they say quack. But what you probably didn't know is that female mallards are the ducks famous for making that sound. They use this quack to call other ducks to them, typically they're baby ducklings, and it's often called the hail call or the day crescendo call. This is actually a call that ducks can hear for miles, and here's an example. And that's cute. My other fact for this category is that male ducks still make sounds, but they're not the typical quacks that you hear. They're much deeper and raspier and just one or two note calls. And they can also make rattling sounds by rubbing their bills up against their feathers. I may or may not be able to find an example of this. So if I do, here it is. <coughs> So for this category, I'm gonna rate mallards a seven out of 10. Someone is taking out their trash again. I'm talking about birds. Trucking right along into category number three, plumage. Mallard ducks typically grow to be about two feet long and weigh about two and a half pounds. So they're not very big and they do exhibit signs of sexual dimorphism with the females having tan feathers all over and the males having a green head, a colored back and a white body that most people associate with ducks. Your arm looks so good right now. <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> okay, but like, <laughs> Mallards also have yellow or orange bills and legs, and evolutionary biologists believe that the brighter the color of a duck's bill, the better their diet is, which in turn makes them more attractive to potential mates. The brighter the color, the more attractive they are. So for this category, I'm gonna rate Mallards a Five out of 10. They're nothing crazy, but they're still pretty cool. We're now into eating habits. So mallards are considered omnivores. They mostly feed off the surface of the water, eating anything from seeds to small fish, insects, frogs, and other fish eggs. But they do also enjoy eating certain human foods, typically grains and breads, but please do not feed them breads if you see them at a pond, it's bad for them. Instead, you can feed them things like frozen peas and other vegetables. And this fact is one of my favorites about mallards in general. They are considered to be something called dabbling ducks, which talks about the way that they feed, meaning they float on the surface of the water and then they dip forward and put their butts in the air to eat underwater fish and plants and whatever. But you see their little butts and then they come back and they go boop. So for that, I'm going to rate them a 7 out of 10 for this category. And we're now into mating habits. So typically, female mallards will lay between eight and 13 eggs in a single clutch. Adult mallards are monogamous, but only for a single breeding season, meaning they don't mate for life and they will typically have a new partner every time it's time 
to have babies. The mom is the only one that stays to take care of the babies once the eggs are laid, and typically they do not return to the nest after the babies is hatched. After the babies have hatched, because as we said earlier, their young are precocial and they can take care of themselves. Mallard eggs also typically have like a little greenish tint to them. They're very cute. And this next fact, I'm going to try to say as gently as I possibly can. So male mallards have cork shaped, like corkscrew shaped appendages. Um, and the females have cork shaped appendages, <laughs> but the females have several possible dead ends as well. So in order for a mating to be successful, who knows how they even have babies. Uh, it's like a corkscrew, like think of like a pigtail. It's like that, it's like a pig's tail, kind of, or like a spiral staircase. But then the females are like a spiral staircase with like several rooms going off and you don't know if one of them is actually the exit or not. Do with that, what you will. And what I will do with that information is I will rate them an eight out of 10 for this category. So now we're into flight patterns. Mallards do migrate. I feel like we always have birds that don't actually migrate, but they do migrate north in the summer and south in the winter. And they are very, very resilient. God, they are also known to be very resilient birds, meaning that they aren't really affected by human interaction. So good for them. And lastly, ducks may be known for waddling very slowly, but they can actually fly very, very fast, having been recorded at top speeds of up to 70 miles per hour, or 112 kilometers an hour. All in all, mallards are really cool when it comes to flight patterns, and I'm gonna rate them an eight out of 10. There was a duck in the pool. There was a, <gasps> Quick side note, one time a duck flew in my pool and I'm gonna put a video of it right here and you can hear me freaking out about it. I got very excited. There's a duck in our pool. He's quacking. And now we're into D-zone bias. So a group of ducks that are flying is simply called a flock, but a group of mallards floating together in the water is called a sword but it's spelled S-O-R-D, not S-W-O-R-D, but still cool nonetheless. My next fact is that mallards typically cruise under 10,000 feet, but in 1962, a mallard was struck by a commercial airliner at 21,000 feet in the air, which was a record altitude for bird aircraft collisions at that time. It's a bird, it's a plane. It's both. My next fact is that when a mallard was shot by a hunter in 2008, a band on its leg revealed that it had been tagged by biologists in 1981, making it 27 years old at least, and the oldest mallard on record at the time. Oh, not at the time, actually just on record ever. Oh yeah, I forgot about this fact. So in 1933, the general manager of a hotel called the Peabody Hotel in Memphis, Tennessee, thought it would be funny to bring some of his ducks into the hotel and place them in the fountain. This ended up being a huge hit with the guests, and ever since then, a group of mallards known as the Peabody Ducks have lived in the Royal Duck Palace on the roof of the hotel and are brought down daily for a swim in the lobby. The group consists of one male and four females that are borrowed from a local farm and are retired after three months. Imagine working for three months and then retiring for the rest of your life. And quite possibly the best part of this fact is that there is a job at the hotel specifically made to take care of the ducks and they are called the Hotel Duck Master. It's a dream, that's a dream. Taking all of those fun facts into consideration, I'm going to give Mallards an extra nine out of 10 points for this category. And with that, we are at the end of Mallards. After adding up all of their scores, they get an average seven out of 10 points. They're cute little dudes and gals and friends. So cool. Let me know what you would rate Mallards in the comments below and also leave me suggestions for birds that I should rate in future videos. And lastly, like and subscribe to my channel for more weekly bird facts, which will be coming weekly from now on. Don't say that. I'm kidding. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Oh my god. Oh my no. god. Anyway, cut the camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.